Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West Channel. Well today I want to practice some more with solar experiments. And as usual, whenever you're doing solar experiments, you'll want to wear your shades to protect your eyes. But uh, this is a very weak form of solar ignition when you use that parabolic mirror in there and an old style flashlight. And yes, I've seen the videos where you can take the two batteries inside and use tin foil or a gun, gum wrapper and ignite char cloth and tinder and stuff. But uh, I'm gonna do it different this time and let me show you. If I can get the thing apart. And this one is a little unusual. Look at all the facets in this one. Usually it's just a mirrored surface in there. So I've been practicing with it already this morning, and I've tried to I've tried to ignite some paper towel, and of course with it being so light, it's just gonna it just reflects the sun's rays. The focal point doesn't even phase it. So then I took some ashes, and I impregnated a little piece of it, and I stuck that in there, and still this focal point was not hot enough to even to even start it smoking. So then I took a piece then I took a piece of char out of my stove and then I rubbed it on that piece of paper towel and since the paper towel was was um, saturated with ashes the char was dark enough to get ignition to transfer it over to the ashed paper towel and I was able to get an ember big enough to use so I just want to show that to you this morning. First, I want to show you that even though it's a very weak focal point, a very weak way to make solar ignition, you can still do it fairly easily with a piece of char cloth. And it may look like to you that I'm in the direct sun, but I am not. So let me set you up a little ways up the hill there and I'll show you how easy it is to ignite char cloth using the parabolic mirror out of a flashlight. It's always hard to get stuff like this on video. All right, drop my shades into place. Make sure I'm pointed at the sun. And even with char cloth, with something as black and dark as char cloth, it can still, you know, it can still be a little tedious. Oh, I didn't have it pointed up enough. That should be, oh, there it goes. So it's relatively easy with char cloth because it's black and because it's so reactive. And I just want to show you how I got the paper towel to go.
All right. Let's head on back down to the fire table and I'll show you the rest of it. All right, let's dump out the stove and have a talk about the pieces that are char and the pieces that are not. And here comes the wind. I'm still going to give it a try. Now, about five minutes has gone by, and all of this blow away white stuff, that's what I want to saturate the paper towel with if I can get it before it blows away. There's still plenty of it in there. But there's this stuff right here, even though it's black, don't confuse it with char. It's not black anymore because <laughs> all of the white ash got on it. But don't confuse that with char. That's mostly burn up. It's not going to do you any good. But there are little pieces of char in here that we can use. Well, there was this morning. Let me go ahead and saturate before all this blows away. Let me go ahead and saturate this paper towel with this white ash. Because we know that that's going to get whatever little spark we come up with with the solar ignition. It's, gonna, it's going to maintain it and cause it to grow. So... That's all I need for a little piece of char right on the end for the uh, focal point to go ahead and ignite this and then transfer it to the ashed paper towel. And remember, I am a hobbyist, I am not a survivalist. I just experiment with different fire techniques, see what works, what doesn't work. If you're able to use this information, great. If you're not interested in it, that's great also. All right, let's go ahead and roll something up that we can stick down inside that mirror. We got some darkness there, and we'll take this little chunk of charred material, and we'll stick it right in the center. So let's go set back up in the sun, and we'll put that up inside that that mirror. All right, I found a better chunk of char in my ashes bottle. And let's get in front of the camera. Even if it crumbles up like I feel it crumbling up, see how it just all crumbled up? That's going to work out nicely. Let's see if I can aim into the sun a little bit better than I did the last time.
I think it's ignited because it's getting so bright. And I want to make sure because I, I can't pull that out of there as, as powdery as I made that piece of uh, charred wood. Uh-oh. Let's try it again. We can do this. I forgot to put my shades on. Let me put them on. Especially when, when you're staring at the focus, something that bright for this long, you sure better have your shades on. I saw a little bit of smoke rise up off of it and I moved it. Still searching for the perfect position. There's some smoke. Oh man, look at how fast it's spreading because of those ashes on there. So there's no chance of that going out. I'm going to set you up. We'll go back down here to the table because that's not going to go out. All those ashes in, ashes in there is going to allow it to just smolder right on. And there it is. How important that's going to turn out to be, you never really know. I just have these ideas. I have these experiments. And as time goes by, we'll see if I, if I use this information myself. But let's go ahead and this will be another opportunity to show you the leaves tinder bundle and how, how to pack them in with your thumb and have a very easy tinder bundle. You want a double handful of leaves, yes, but you want as big a double handful of leaves as you can as you can hold on to. There it is. And put a little more leaves on top. We should be good to go. I used to hate using leaves for a tinder bundle just as much as y'all did until I saw that they could be controlled and easily ignited. So, like I said before, they're they're prone to go out if you don't bait them a little bit a little bit at this point. But um with the right technique, they'll take right off. Ah. <laughs> I appreciate you bearing with me on this one. Up the hill, down the hill, in the sun, out of the sun. Found a piece of char, no. Found a better piece of char, you know. All this stuff is on the fly. I just enjoy working with different fire techniques and just seeing what I can come up with. <laughs> All right, y'all. Appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one.